On this planet, the largest living reptile is the saltwater crocodile, with a maximum length of about 6 meters. But what if I told you, in the heart of the African continent, there are credible records of a giant crocodilian creature reaching 15 meters? What would you think? This isn't tribal mythology, but documented sightings by Western explorers. This creature is called Mahamba by locals. What's 15 meters like longer than a standard city bus? On par with prehistoric marine rulers for mainstream biology, such a large crocodile on Earth today is completely impossible. However, for adventurers deep in the Congo swamps and generations of natives living there, Mahamba is no myth but a real river monarch. The story's prologue dates to the 1880s. A small steamboat on an African inland waterway accidentally opened a door to prehistory. From that moment, in one of Earth's most mysterious corners, the Congo Basin's Likuala swamps, sightings and fears of this living dinosaur, like the swamp mist have lingered for over a century. Today, we'll part the layers of fog starting with a yellowed log from 100 years ago to trace Mahamba's full unsolved mystery. Is it an exaggerated description of fear or a true prehistoric survivor? Our pursuit begins with a dusty record written by engineer John Leinhardt Werner in the late 1880s. In the then Congo Free State, Werner was working for a Belgian company exploring Congo's inland waterways aboard an advanced steamboat, the AIA, 42 feet long overall. The first encounter was purely accidental. Werner and his assistant, to improve crew meals, moored the steamboat near a large sandbar to prepare food. As Werner's gaze passed the sandbar's peak, the scene before him made him forget his purpose. On the sand, not far ahead, a massive creature was crouching. It looked like a giant crocodile, but far larger than any known Werner estimated. The creature's back had huge spinal ridges rising four feet above the ground, total length at least 50 feet. This meant this creature was longer than the 42-foot steamboat by quite a margin. Back then, forget about being skinny. Even transportation was extremely difficult. Long trips relied on steamboats and canoes. Nowadays, buying a car is no longer a rare thing. I bought a Tesla from Guazi Used Cars for just 99,000. The car's condition is reliable, saved a lot of money too. Guazi recently listed thousands of new energy vehicles. Direct supply from individuals and wholesalers can save over 10,000 under same conditions. If you want to buy a new energy vehicle, I sincerely recommend checking out Guazi's used new energy cars, direct from the source, many discounts available. Verney's emotions, from the hunter's excitement, turned to facing an unknown sized creature, the most primal awe and fear. In the end, he still shot at the raven. The gunshot broke the swamp's silence and startled that enormous being it didn't attack, but turned sharply, quickly, sliding into the murky river. This time it wasn't distant observation, but a close-range physical collision. At the time, Werner was piloting the AIA, navigating a very shallow river channel. The detector showed the boat's bottom was less than three inches from the riverbed. Suddenly the whole boat violently shook. The bow lifted sharply upwards as if hitting a hard riverbank. A few seconds later, a shadow longer than the boat, huge and dark, burst out from under the boat, frantically stirring up the mud, rushing towards deeper water. Only then did Werner realize in horror his steamboat hadn't hit a sandbar at all, but had directly ridden on a creature lurking in shallow water, a creature over 40 feet long. What chilled him even more was that steel-forged multi-ton steamboat colliding so violently with this creature, yet it seemed completely unharmed, still possessing the strength to break free and quickly leave this encounter, transform Maramba from a huge visual target to a steamboat-sized physically existing being with terrifying power. Verne's account, like a boulder thrown into a bottleneck lake, causing ripples in layers, truly brought Maramba from a personal explorer's diary into broader cryptozoology research. It was American biologist Roy P. Macal Macal in the 1980s twice deeply explored the Congo Basin swamps, initially aiming to find another legendary creature, Mokeli Mbembe. However, in deep exchanges with local Ishigo tribespeople, a legend about a giant catfish repeatedly emerged clearly. Here, the first key conflict emerged when McColl showed the Baka people a picture of a common Nile crocodile. They immediately recognized it as Nicoli. In their cognitive system, Nicoli is common, although dangerous, but a familiar large animal. But when McColl mentioned giant crocodile rumors, the locals' expressions instantly became serious. They firmly stated that the creature was definitely not Nicoli, but a completely separate, much larger and more aggressive being Mahamba. According to the Baka people's description, Mahamba far exceeds Nile crocodiles in size, its behavior patterns are also bizarre. They actively attack even capsizing locals' canoes. More shockingly, they describe to McCall among known crocodile species an extremely rare habit. Mahamba rests in massive underwater caves or tunnels. These caves' length reportedly extends from 50 to 1,000 yards. 
If this description is true, it not only explains why this beast is so hard to find, but also adds a whole new puzzling ecological dimension to its mysteriousness. Now let's shift our focus from the Congo rainforest temporarily to paleontological fossil records. Did Earth truly ever have crocodiles of such size? The answer is affirmative. About 112 million years ago in the Cretaceous, a species lived on the African continent known as Sarcosuchus, or supercroc. Based on discovered fossils, adult supercrocs could reach 12 meters in length, nearly 40 feet, weighing over 8 tons. Its skull alone was 1.8 meters long, equivalent to an adult human's height. This sparked intense debate among scientist cryptozoologists, represented by Roy McCall, proposed a bold hypothesis that vast Congo Basin over 500,000 square miles with 80% of its area still unexplored swampland might be like a time island providing perfect refuge for these prehistoric beasts. However, mainstream biologists strongly refute this paleontologist from the University of Chicago. Paul Serino clearly stated, where's the evidence? They point out that to date, not a single bone of this unknown giant crocodile tooth or any form of physical remains has been discovered or authenticated. A reptile expert from Cambridge University believes humans in extreme fear states easily misjudge the size and distance of things they see, exaggerating them. But just as this academic debate was heating up, a real monster emerged from the water. Its name is Gustav Gustav is not a legend. It's a real giant Nile crocodile, mainly active in East Africa's northern shore of the Ruzizi River and northeastern Lake Tanganyika. Based on long-term tracking research, French biologist Patrice Fay estimates Gustave is at least 18 to 20 feet long, weighing nearly 2,000 pounds. However, what made Gustave infamous, even notorious, isn't just its massive size, but rather its unbelievable record of bloody killings. Though the documentary, Capturing the Killer Croc, claims 300 died in its jaws. Fay later clarified, the actual recorded death toll is 60. Even so, this number is still chilling. Gustave's terror is also evident in those almost inexplicable characteristics. First is its bulletproof nature. Fay! In close observation, clearly saw on Gustav's body, right shoulder blade area, obvious gunshot scars. Besides that, it has three more bullet holes and a deep wound above the right flank. Local troops and some hunters tried to kill it with AK-47S and other weapons, but all failed. Next is its strange hunting behavior. Unlike other crocodiles, Gustav doesn't seem to kill just for food. Numerous eyewitness reports indicate after killing victims, it doesn't immediately eat them but abandons the bodies, Faye describes. Bodies weren't completely devoured, usually only the torso remained. Limbs, abdomen, arms and head vanished. Modern technology faced with Gustav also met unprecedented failure. In 2004, Faye and National Geographic team planned an ambitious capture operation. They designed and built a one-ton, 30-foot giant trap cage using various animals as bait and installed infrared cameras for night monitoring. But the result was disappointing. Gustav never approached the trap. It seemed to recognize the threat. On a stormy night, the infrared cameras malfunctioned the next morning. When the team returned to the trap, they found the trap cage had been dragged into the water. The live goat bait was gone, but the trap door wasn't triggered. Gustav, with its own wisdom, publicly humiliated human technology. This failed capture attempt. This raises a deeper and more unsettling question. What's the link between Gustav and Mahamba? What's their connection? One possibility is giant Nile crocodiles like Gustav are the true source of the Mahamba legend. A six-meter-long creature with 60 confirmed kills, a real monster evading modern tech. Through word of mouth and fear-fueled exaggeration, it grew to a 15-meter prehistoric beast. This makes logical sense. But there's a more intriguing and chilling possibility. Gustav's real existence proves the Nile crocodile species has potential we've yet to fully recognize. If in Burundi's rivers, Gustav-like extremes can evolve in more primitive environments with different food chains like the Congo Basin, could its ultimate form exist? Gustav is already huge and terrifying, but he's far from Mahamba's legendary size. There's still a big gap. Gustav's existence doesn't end the Mahamba legend. It sets a new benchmark, providing a scary real-world reference. So far, we've spanned centuries. Now we face three main possibilities. First, an extremely exaggerated giant croc. Gustav's real existence raises the species' danger to new heights. A terrified eyewitness encountering a six-meter beast might overestimate its size to 10 or even 15 meters. This fits human psychology. The second is more exploratory. An unknown new species or rare gigantism case, the Congo Basin's vast rainforests remain Earth's most biodiverse and least studied areas. We can't rule out the existence of a larger, undiscovered crocodile relative. The third is the boldest theory. The living fossil hypothesis suggesting Mahamba is a surviving prehistoric giant croc. This theory's likelihood is lowest biologically but in an area over 500,000 square miles. 